What's up everybody? This is your boy Chris Reed Beats back with another video. This is my third time recording this video, but we're going to make sure that third time is a charm. So in this video, I want to show you guys how you can create your own samples inside of Reason very quickly. And I have two tips that I'm going to show you guys how you can actually create your own sample. And I have a free VST that you guys can download. You probably have already heard of it, probably already are using it, but the link to that free download VST will be in the description so first of all let's go ahead and start off by listening to the track that we have created all right so that's the track and it's doing some pretty cool stuff here is the sample by itself So I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own sample and then chop that sample up inside of Reason. So the first way that you can do this is actually by creating your loop by actually, you know, playing some music, dropping in some other loops, maybe playing your own chord progressions, maybe using players such as chord sequencer or scales and chords. If you have access to players or just, you know, getting down with the nitty gritty and actually just creating your own chord progressions. But what I did here, I actually had a special treat which was given to us by Simon Servita. These are the acapellas for his song that he had just released with an artist on his YouTube channel. So on that YouTube video, Simon actually created a song with what he called an amateur rapper. And he created that song and then he released that song on his Spotify. But at the end of the video, he actually gave his viewers access to the acapellas for that song. And if you guys go check out his video, then you can have access to these acapellas as well so because i had access to these acapellas i went ahead and i created this sample using those acapellas and a little bit of piano and some other sounds we actually created this sample make, you make me lose my focus when you on the floor didn't even notice it was time to close i could take you far away that's the line no caution tape we can go so high up Can't be on the low Can't be on the low I saw that's from their song on the low so one way that you can actually create this sample is by going to file and hitting export loop as audio file. And you can go ahead and create your audio loop. Go ahead and dial in the settings that you want. These are the settings that I typically use to create my loops. So Reason will export that section of your loop and you will then be able to have that as an audio file. And then you can add in your sampler, whatever sampler you want to use. I like to use the mimic for cases like this so i'll use the mimic sampler and i can just go ahead and find that file and drag it and drop it over and now you have that file inside of a sampler inside of reason but there's also another way that you guys can do it and it may be more complicated but for me i like it because that way you can actually just create samples on the fly so a clever routing trick that you guys can do is by taking your audio output from your master out and routing it into your sampling input so what I did was I took the master out into a merger splitter and I split the sound to send it to the sampling input and I did another split to send it back into the audio output. Once we have that routing set up, we can actually just press this start sampling button and then we can just play the music. Didn't even notice it was time to close. I could take you far away. Then once you press stop, you'll have that sample inside of Mimic. So what I will do is bring the speed down and adjust the pitch. I also would like to turn on this mono retrigger so that I can play the sample repeatedly. And also I will hit this playthrough for the slices. Now, of course, if you're in slice mode, then Reason will automatically dial in some slices for you. And you can use this sensitivity knob to actually adjust how many slices you want. If you want to add in more slices, just come to the top and click right there and you can add in slices. Slices. And of course, if you need to delete a slice, you can just double click on it and it will actually delete that slice. So that's one way that you can pull in a sample that you've created inside of Reason into your Mimic by using the start sample feature. Or you can also export it as a loop and then drag the file over into Mimic. Now, here comes the fun part. 
Once you have your sample and you have your slices and you have your pitch and you have your speed dial in, if you have everything how you want it, now you can actually add in this VST from Isotope called Vinyl. Now this VST is pretty cool, gives you some cool different sounds that you can use inside of your music production to actually shape that sound and give it a sample feel. So we'll go ahead and take a listen again to our sample and we'll actually apply some of these changes so you can hear how it sounds. When it comes to actually creating the sound of your sample, you can actually shape it so that way you get the sound that you're looking for. Now, another thing that you can do inside of Reason when you have these VSTs, they have this button right here at the top that says automate. So what you can do is click automate and then you can click a parameter inside of the VST that you actually want to automate. So say, for example, if we wanted to automate this warp, so we actually will get a drop down for the automation right here and we can actually automate when we want that warp to come in. So say we can create a nice ramp like this and then... So as you can see, the warp is actually rising with the automation inside of Reason. Now, another thing that I did was I actually automated this spin down effect. And you can see that automation right here. This gives it a nice little spin down. Now for the raisin pitch, which happens right here, I'm actually automating the pitch shift on Mimic. So this is actually raising the pitch from Mimic when it's playing that sample. So that way you can kind of play around with it and you can kind of get that DJ effect, um, really actually change it in and make it sound like it's a sample that's being played. So now that we have this beat and we actually have the acapellas from the song, let's actually play the verse from the song with this remixed beat. If you act intimate, I'm livid. I need some competition. Spin it while you fidget around my finger. The opposition condescending while we be rising. I'm saying hi to misses, but I'm never missing. She tell me to drop the honorifics. Time to set it off. It's a renaissance. Wanna screen us? Get a teleprompter. Roll the dice now. We can never stop. Get the bank. Uh, make it sound wrong. So guys, that's how you can create your own sample inside of Reason. Chop that sample up and create a beat. Get creative with it. Have fun with it and just bring in your own style and creativity. Shout out to Simon Servita for allowing his viewers to download the vocals to that song. And if you guys check out his video, link will be in the description. Then you can follow the directions and be able to download those acapellas as well. The Vinyl VST is a free download and the link will be in the description as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a thumb up on this video. Subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when we drop more videos like this, giving you guys tips and tricks inside of Reason 12. And with that being said, until next time, peace.